Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a map of just an individual grid square. So we have our map loaded, and in case you need to reload your map, for instance, you can um, go to the navigator window and uh, double click on here. But I'm actually at a different mag than what I imaged, and you can tick this box called Rotate When Load, which will now rotate the map to the same uh, rotation angle as whatever magnification you're currently at. So I'm going to do that and reload the map and you'll see that when it rotates it's about 180 degrees difference. Okay, now I can zoom in using the plus key on my keyboard to an area of interest and I might be interested in taking the map of this grid square here and so in the navigator box, I can select Add Polygon and draw a polygon around that grid square. So you see it's kind of funky. And I guess that's because this map didn't align very well back together, but it kind of knows that's the area you want. It should work out fine. Okay, the next thing I want to do is just click inside the box and you'll see I get this green cross and I'm going to say go to marker so the little green cross is the marker and then I'm going to take a trial image just to see what the area looks like looks fine and I'm going to do tasks eucentric rough also in Cerulean anytime it's doing something it will show it down here in this uh, task bar okay eucentricity is done we can tell because nothing is happening down here in the taskbar and also it tells us that rough eccentricity has finished here in the log window. Alright, so we're somewhat eccentric. Now I want to make sure that my record images look fine. And I see, I think I have the beam here, so I'm just going to lower the screen and make sure that I don't have anything in the corner of my image. Take a new picture that looks much better. Okay, so we've set up this polygon. Now we go to Navigator, Montaging and Grids, Set Up Polygon Montage. And it's big, 27 by 26. Uh, that's actually too big, so we're going to say Cancel. I'm going to go back to my map, hit End, and I'm going to do a much smaller area. So let's just go to this grid square instead say add a polygon and we'll just do the very center and now we have to go here take a record image we're going to be very similar eccentric height so there's ne no reason to do eccentricity again so we go to Navigator, Montaging and Grids, Set Up Polygon Montage, and now it's 15 by 10, a much more manageable size of a map. We say OK. Yes, we want to save everything in the extended header, and this is going to be Demo Medium Mag Map. OK, it went to the center of the image area, map area, and then we say Start on Montage Controls. And you see we have 109 pictures. Okay, the map is finished. So yes, we want to make a map from this montage. And again, we just file, close the map. And under Navigator, if you have autosave nav file checked, that means that anytime you make a change in your Navigator file, this window here, it will save that file. So we don't have to save it again. Okay, using the plus key, I can zoom in. And now we see that we have a nice montaged map of our area of interest.